Hey everyone, Katherine King here, and today I have a very special haul. So one thing, stop it, butter. One thing I love doing during, um, sorry, I'm not used to being in a tank top, but it's 80 in my house, butter, and butter is being obnoxious. Um, one thing I love during do doing during the holiday season is going to craft bazaars. So we had one in a neighboring town called Canby. Um, it's actually named after Colonel Canby or something like that. Anyway, it's where I grew up, C-A-N-B-Y, Canby. And so my sister and I, it's something that we do. He's being obnoxious. Um, we go to these craft bazaars. So I can't seem to go, butter, I can't seem to go to a craft bazaar without finding wax. So what did I do? I found wax and I liked it. So what did I do? I ordered some. <laughs> okay, so the name of this company is Heart and Home Candle. And on the back it says, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We hope you love this item as much as we loved making it. And then it gives a uh, um, 20% off the, my next order and then information. And I'll go ahead and tag this below just in case you want to try out a local vendor. I believe Heart and Home is in Washington in Kalama or somewhere near Kalama. So <clears throat> I picked up three while I was at the bazaar. Oh, I got Pookie Bear underneath me and Butter on my desk. And then I picked up, I don't know, three, six, nine, ten. Ten from the website. <clears throat> they sent a little bag of samples. Let me get my scissors here. Which was very sweet um, that they did that. So, Heart and Home Candle and it's just a little wax. So black raspberry vanilla, and the black raspberry vanilla I know is from Scentsy. And I did smell this one at the bazaar. It is very good. I love a good black raspberry vanilla, so I'm very excited about that. And then the next one, I don't know if I bought this one. Not sure, okay. Warm Caramel Crumble. And if I recall, this was, yeah, really caramely. There were actually two wax vendors at the bazaar. Um, so I bought myself some and then I sent a happy package to my wax bestie. So I just can't help myself. So I sent her a little bit of love from Oregon. Um, the other company I, I bought for her is out of Albany. So, um, and you know how you guys say alo aloha? Well, there's a town, well, it's more like a city, <laughs> butter hair, here in Oregon called Aloha. And spelled the same way, but it's Aloha. Anyway, okay, so what I picked up at the bazaar, I picked up two banana nut breads. This is so good. Wanna smell it, butter? Butter doesn't know what to think. If you saw the size of my cat on this desk right now, he's about 25 pounds. He's a big boy. This is, to me, pretty authentic banana. Drew, you'd probably love this. I don't smell nut. Um, I don't... No, she doesn't do poor dates. Um, so... Mm, it's so good. So I got that. And then the other one I got at the bazaar was Woodland Cranberry. And there, there's no scent notes or anything, but I smell like woods, um, maybe some pine or some kind of a fir. And then the cranberry. It is so good. So those are the three I bought there because they were three for 27 um, at the bazaar. Now, the rest that I got cranberry orange. I love cranberry orange. There's, I like eating cranberry, you know, like, um, cranberry 
chutney or cranberry sauce, you know, I like making it with that orange in it and it's so tart and it seriously makes your mouth water. Mm. Oh, this smells good. Okay, so it's, this seems a little light right now. Oh, Casey just sent me a message. Ma'am, what did you do? <laughs> Hi, Casey. <laughs> I love surprising people. I didn't tell her. Oh, this is good. There's, there is something a bit woody in this one as well. Oh, that's really good. You know, it would be good. These two together. Okay, next. I cannot pass this up if I see it. Fruit Loops. I love a good Fruit Loop. Actually, I just placed an order and it had orange Fruit Loops on it. Here comes butter. I told you he was a big boy. You don't need a butt shot, butter. I can't even hardly see over him. He's like standing over my wax. Butter. Sit down, be a good boy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is... To me, there's two different kinds of fruit. So there's Fruit Loops and then there's Fruity Pebbles. This is definitely Fruit Loops. Yes. This is like you seriously stuck your nose in a box of Fruit Loops. So good, so good. All right, so this next one, I had to move because butter moved. Okay, next, Tiki Beach. And they're all just plain white wax. Nice and simple. Sometimes, you know what? Simple is, is nice. They have two different kinds of like labels on here. But they're just sweet and simple. And I like that. Okay, Tiki Beach. This is like a pina colada. Absolutely. This will have to wait for summer. Maybe spring. Oh, that's really good. That smells just like a pina colada. Okay, next one. All right, I wasn't sure about this one because I'm like, mm, it's grapefruit mimosa because I wasn't sure about the grapefruit. Butter, just lay your butt down. All right, hop down. Be a good boy. There you go. All right, let's see what we got. And these are those really difficult clamshells like... Um, Zapaz. Okay. It is definitely grapefruit. It is pretty light right now. Because, you know, there's since there's no pour dates. It says 2W on the inside. Or me. Or... I have no idea. Could be any number of things. Anyway, it's it's grapefruit. It's lovely, but it's grapefruit. Okay, next one, sun-kissed citrus. I was trying to maybe um, branch out. I, I like finding local. I just think there's something special about that. Um, the fact that these are at Christmas bazaars, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give them a try. And I'm a wax addict. Isn't that what you do? Okay, sorry, sun-kissed citrus. So I wonder how close this is to Scentsy's. It is, it's a citrus. It's kind of a generic citrus. And I thought I almost smelled maybe a hint of cherry, but maybe not. Okay, this one I'm excited about. Frosted Plum. Maybe Casey will do a video on what vendor I sent her. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, that's a, that's a really pretty plum with maybe a hint of like snow or um, like, you know, when you think of frosted, you're thinking of, yeah, like a tree, a frosted tree, a light tree, something like that. Oh, that's good. That is good. Okay. I didn't know if it would be good or not, but I got two Georgia peach. 
Always trying to find a good peach for Tim. Oh, I like that. I really do. Um, it does seem light, but it is a pretty peach. It's not, it's not a foul peach. I'll probably let it, um, that one sit and, you know, simmer a little bit. Okay, next one, blueberry crumble. I love me a good blueberry. Mmm, that's a good blueberry. Mmm, that is seriously, it's not like a, a blueberry pie. I don't smell a pine out. Yeah, she's got notations in, in this, but I don't know what that means. So... It's just, it is like a blueberry crumble. Like you've got an oatmeal crumble on top of blueberries. That's really nice. No milk note or anything. And then the last one I had to try, and the other vendor had this exact same scent that I sent to Casey, Coffee House. So I wonder if this is going to be Lori Brown approved. Let's see. Straight up coffee. Mm-hmm. Maybe a hint of cream, but no sweetness. There is absolutely no sweetness to this. Mm, that's that's good. I wonder, I don't think I have their website. I happen to still have my iPad in here. Oh, Casey said, what did you do? You're so kind. Thank you. Now you're going to get it. Bring it, girl. Bring it. Because you know, I'll win, hun. I win every time. All right, so heart, H-A-R-T-N, home. Let's see, I wanna know if there's something else in Coffee House. I'm just curious to know now. Wax melts, so just a nice simple website. Doop doo doo. Coffee House. So they're five dollars here. I think I got them for three or four. Um, okay, awesome. So on the website, it does give the notes. Okay, so Coffee House says it's oh interesting, butter, coconut, tonka, oops, vanilla, and maple. Coffee House is a wonderful blend of fresh roasted coffee with whispers of creamy butter, coconut flakes, vanilla beans, and maple syrup. It's like walking into your favorite coffee shop and breathing in the fresh aroma of coffee and sweet pastries. Okay, there's no pastry note at all. Hmm. It's a... It's not a slap you in the face one, um, but it is absolutely fantastic. Let's see what other I want. Is curious about this uh, frosted plum. Let's see. Doop doo. -do. My husband always does that, and it drives me bananas. And now I catch myself doing it too. Frosted plum. All right. Citrus, black, haha, <laughs> black cherry, plum, amber, sugar, light musk, freesia, and vanilla. Wrap yourself in comfort with this sensuous fragrance. This fruit forward scent has a cozy warmth that always that's always inviting. Hmm. This one has cherry. Okay, I can I can definitely. I think I'm smelling the amber when I thought it was like a tree or like snow. I think it's the amber. Hmm. Now I'm curious about that other one. Do. I was going to sing the doobie doos again. They have one called Tis the Season. I didn't get that one. They have black currant. They have ooh, they have Santa's cookies. I didn't get that one. Just yeah, sun kissed citrus. That is so good. Frosted plum. 
I can't wait to get melting these. Okay, frosted plum, orange peel, or no, sun-kissed citrus, orange peel, peppercorn, apple, mandarin, vanilla, and tonka bean. Definitely orange and mandarin. Mm, that's so good. Anyway, okay, so heart and home. That's the website, heartandhome.com. Um, I'm not sure if it says on here where it's from about us at oh okay so at home we know that your most precious memories are made with the ones you love in places in the place you love we'd like to be part of that our can't they have candles too our candles are hand poured in small batches in the pacific northwest Ridgefield, Washington, to be exact. And I know exactly where Ridgefield, Washington is. It's just across the border from Oregon. Um, where we make and ship everything from our home. Our candles are made with premium coconut wax, or coconut wax blend, and then talks about cotton wicks and stuff, which obviously I got wax melts. Oh yeah, so this on the wax melts, it says a soy wax blend. So anyway. That was just a little something. I got myself some, and I got Casey some from another vendor out of Albany. So, Al Albany, Oregon. So, anyway, that's what I have for you tonight. I know it's some obscure, you know, native Pacific Northwest vendor, but I just had to bring it to you guys because I think we, you know, if we're going to these craft bazaars and we're finding wax, you know, maybe me doing a video might increase their sales. I don't know. It's not like I'm like this massive, you know, influencer that has, you know, 11 million viewers like, oh, you know, some beauty gurus that I watch. Um, but, you know, maybe you guys, you know, thought, you know, thought Frosted Plum sounded good and wanted to give it a go. You know, that's what we're here for, right, is to sometimes bring about new vendors and you know not everybody has to be ones that have hundreds of thousands of followers or even hundreds of followers so you know maybe they'll get in a couple orders out of it i don't know i just had to bring it to you because it's a pacific northwest company and that's where i live that's where i love so anyway thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes and i'll catch you in the next video bye